This video is sponsored by NordVPN. What can I say about NordVPN that I haven't already said? As someone whose personal information has been at risk before, I use Nord as often as I use hand sanitizer, which is a lot. I also travel a lot, and when I use public Wi-Fi without my VPN on, it just makes me feel icky. Like touching the handle of a bathroom door. All right, I think I just don't like germs. But thankfully, NordVPN keeps my browsing secure with an extra thick layer of next level encryption. Plus, NordVPN is essential if you wanna watch region-locked content. Whenever I'm abroad, I'm hit with the harsh reminder that other countries just don't get access to HBO. I watch a lot of HBO, but with Nord, I don't have to worry about that at all. So if for some reason you guys don't have a VPN, you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus four additional months for free when you use my link nordvpn.com slash cosmonaut. It's also risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you don't like it, you don't have anything to worry about. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash cosmonaut, or you can click the link in the description below. Hello, everybody. Um, there's a her the torrential downpour outside, a tropical storm of some sort. I just got back from the gym. We're gonna rank every single, I think this is every single, get the fuck out of here, every single show and movie from Marvel and DC. I'm pretty sure, is Green Lantern on here? Green Lantern is on there, okay. Yeah, that's everything, Constantine. What the fuck is this? Is that Daredevil? Season something, just a show? Yeah, we're gonna change these names though. So this is, oh, all caps, goaded. We need like one more bad one, you know? Right? It's delicious garbage. You're right. We need delicious garbage. This seems good, right? This seems good. You know what? I haven't seen an upcoming slash eventual video. Might as well just be the same tier, right? T change not bad to good. Not bad should be good. You're right. Let's do that. Good, good movie. Seems good, right? Mid isn't passable though. Mid is like middle of the ground, mi middle of the road, you know? Yeah, mid is something you'll forget in a couple hours. Exactly. All right. Uh, anyway, so let's get started. So first we've got Agent Carter. Haven't seen it. Shield. Haven't seen it. I have no interest in watching these. They look pretty bad. Ant-Man 1. Starting things off strong. Ant-Man 1. It's a really hard... The, all the Ant-Man movies, to me, are the same. I think Ant-Man 1 is mid. It's the definition of mid. It is a movie. You know, it's it's the same. They're all the same. They're all the fucking same. People all say that, they're all, that, that these ones are better or, or this one's better. They're all the same to me. Okay? I feel the same way watching all of them. I think I might put Ant-Man 2 down here, actually. This is a tough one. Hold on. I can't fucking see the picture. I'm blind. This is Ant-Man 2. This is Ant-Man 1. This is Quantumania. Yeah. So this one, this one goes here. Fucking hell. I thought the cooler poster, <laughs> the more colorful poster, was the more recent movie. But that's not the case. This is going to be a problem. I'm going to have a lot of trouble with my old man eyes seeing some of these fucking pictures. You know what? Yeah, I think that is proof that they're the same. Right? I can't even tell the posters apart. <laughs> All right, we're, we'll skip this. We might come back to it later. Aquaman. I think Aquaman's a good movie. <laughs> Compared to some other shit, I think Aquaman's just fine. I like Aquaman. Aquaman's fun. You guys have already... If you've already seen my video on Aquaman, you'll know that I went from hating Aquaman and thinking it was the stupidest shit I've ever seen to, for some reason, really liking it. It's got everything I want. It's stupid. It's got a nice hero's journey. Character development. You know? Bad villains. Everything a good superhero needs. All right. Is this Avengers? Where's Avengers 1? Right here. Okay. Let's do Avengers 1. Good movie. I think Avengers 1 is a good movie. I wouldn't say really good. But it's a good movie. You know? Oh, it's the Avengers. Is it was it categorized under the Avengers? That'd be that'd be funny. <laughs> Avengers one is mid. Let's not be silly. Let's not be silly. Let's not kid ourselves. This movie was so good. I remember. I have a I have a distinct memory of when this movie came out. I was in I was in a math class in college. Doesn't matter. Um, and I walked into my math class, 
and everybody was fucking talking about this movie. Every single person. Doesn't matter who they were. Doesn't matter if they were like, you know, an edgy kid, a cool kid, a person who clearly doesn't watch movies. Everybody was talking about it. And one kid, like in the middle of the conversation, he sat up and he said, I think it's the greatest movie of all time. And everybody was just kind of like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And at the time, I was like, I don't know about that. But, like, you know what? If he thought that, good for him. That movie did change superhero movies, whether you like it or not. And it, it, it earns the slot of good movie. Avengers 2. I think Avengers 2 is mid. <laughs> I don't like Avengers 2. Avengers 2 is kind of dumb. Avengers 2 is a really weak follow-up to Avengers 1. Kind of bad, kind of good. So mid. It's got some stuff I do like. I'll say that. The action is very good. The writing, not so good. Uh, Infinity War. Goaded. The, you can't argue with this. All right? Can't argue with this. You're right. This is Infinity War. That's Endgame. <laughs> I think it's probably the best MCU movie. It, it, it is it is probably the best MCU movie. It's one of the best superhero movies. It's a good ass movie. One of one of the one of the greats. Now, this is a toughie. I think this package here is great. As a as a as a joint operation, these two work so well. Right? If it was rating if like I could combine them into into one one film it would be goaded. But we're not doing that. So I think it's going to have to go to really good. Just for that alone, since it is its own movie, and we have to rate each movie on its own, it has to be on really good, right? It's got its own issues. It doesn't stand alone on, as its own movie. But it doesn't have to stand as its own movie. We're going to see that with a lot of movies in here. That's the thing with superhero movies. You know? That's the thing with comic books in general, too. Uh, Batman and Robin. Haven't seen... Slash TBD. I have seen it, but this is going to be... A lot of the Batmans, spoilers, they're going to be going here. Because I'm doing Batman this winter, right? Now, I will say this. I don't know if I should spoil it, though. I already spoiled it. I already, I already fucking spoiled it. It's going there. Delicious garbage. Everybody knows that. Um, this one's an obvious one. But for non-obvious ones, I'll put them here. All the Batmans are getting a video in a few months. I actually haven't seen Batman Returns. That's a real... I actually haven't seen this one. These I've seen. Batman Returns I've never seen. Now, I saw Batman Returns when I was a little baby. And I liked it. And it scared me. But yeah, I liked, I li I liked it when I was a kid. Don't remember a goddamn thing. Does Danny DeVito eat a fish in that movie? I think he ate a fish in that film. He does? Okay. Then I do remember. Um, Batman v Superman. We all know the answer to that. One of my least favorite movies on this whole list. <laughs> I hate it. It's not even funny bad. There's nothing to enjoy about it. I've talked about it at length. It's not good. Now, Batman 89. I have not seen that many times. I loved it when I was a kid. I watched the hell out of this movie when I was a little baby. But uh, this is one I re really got to rewatch to get my full, full, full thoughts down on. Is this the movie that's not out yet? That's a, oh, that's a across is the new one. That one's not out yet. No, that's be, beyond. I hate this fucking naming convention. All right, let me just say real quick. I don't like the names of these movies. <laughs> across, beyond, and into. I, it breaks my brain. You need to change more than one word. All right, I'm too old for that. Just name things two. You know, <laughs> Spider Verse two. Do it because I'm old and I'm stupid. But why is this even on here? The movie's not out yet. Um, Birds of Prey. Now, I rewatched Birds of Prey, and I didn't like it very much. I didn't like it nearly as much as when I first watched it. When I first watched it, I kind of liked it. I was, I was kind of into it. But when I watched it again, I didn't like it as much. It's not bad, though. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think okay is fine. It's okay. Black Adam. Now, here's the thing about Black Adam. I never did a video for Black Adam um, because I didn't feel like it. I didn't go see it when it came out. And I thought if it was really that bad, maybe I could do a worst superhero movies video on it. And I almost did. 
I turned it on one night, and I'm like, all right, let's sit down. And let's see how bad this is. And it's not that bad. It's really, I thought it'd be a lot worse. It's not good, but it's not, like, really bad. It's like a normal movie. So it's definitely mid, for sure. I felt nothing one way or the other, other about it. I didn't love it. I didn't like any parts. I didn't hate any parts. I just sat and I just watched it, you know? You know? It's a, yeah, it's an airplane movie. You watch Black Adam on a plane <laughs> to pass the time, you know? You got three hours in the air on your way to Salt Lake City, and you just got to kill the time. You didn't bring your Nintendo Switch. Oh, look, Black Adam's on here. I didn't watch Black Adam. I'll watch Black Adam. It is an airplane movie. Just like every other movie that has The Rock in it. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever is kind of goaded, I think. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I don't want to re-watch it anytime soon, you know? I don't have the desire to, to re-experience the film. I do think it's it, it stands above most, most of the MCU. It doesn't feel like an MCU movie a lot of the time, but that last act is a little too rushed for me. A lot of the, the emotional payoff is, is a little rushed. Uh, mm, this is, this is my, my personal bias. I really don't like Black Panther 1. I think, personally, that it's bad. <laughs> personally, I don't like it. I've, I've rewatched Black Panther 1 a lot of times. A l I've... I've really tried to like this movie. I've seen it more than anything on the, uh, down here is going to be ranked. Like anything on these on these mid to bad rankings, I've seen it more than any of them. But I don't I really don't like it. <laughs> I've tried so hard. It has bad effects. T'Challa is like just the most dull character. Oh, I love Creed. Yes. Creed is a great movie, but we're not ranking Creed. Creed is goaded. Creed 1, I've only seen Creed 1. I haven't seen Creed 2 or 3. Creed 1 is a goaded ass movie. Killmonger does carry the movie a bit, but not enough to save it. Creed is in the MCU? Yeah, you didn't know? <laughs> you never read the comics, dude? You never read the comics where Creed shows up and he, he fights Doctor Doom, dude? Put it in mid for Chadwick. I put, listen, I put the Chadwick Boseman Memorial Service movie at really good, all right? He, he got that. The other movies that he's in, that are in here, they're going to go higher, so don't worry. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I rewatched this, and I could not sit through it. <laughs> I just, a lot of these rankings are influenced by the fact that I rewatched them, and it got, it got pretty rough. This is Black Widow. It's really small, I know. Worse than Batman v Superman? No, no, this is not... They're not tiered. Don't worry, they're not tiered. They're not in any particular order, all right? There's too many movies for me to be like, well, uh, technically, uh, this goes here and this goes here. No, don't worry about that, all right? So, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll go a little bigger. How's that? Is that better? It's not Delicious Garbage. It, if anything, it would be bad. I think Delicious Garbage should be here. You guys agree? Bump that up. All right. Yeah, Delicious Garbage can go there. And that, you know, in that case, I'll put her in bad. It's not like the worst cinematic experience ever, but it's not good. Blade 2? All right, okay, see, this is what I mean. Blade 2 and then 3 and then 1. Blade 1? Blade 1's pretty good. I like Blade 1. Good movie. I think Blade 1's a really creative little film. Stand Stands on its own. Fun movie. Blade 2? Uh, it's pretty mid. I have a lot of feelings about Blade 2. And then Blade 3. Blade 3 is bad. Blade 3 is real bad. It's dog shit. Dog shit dookie bad. Don't like it. We already did a video on this last year. Blue Beetle. I've not seen. I heard Blue Beetle's pretty good though. But I haven't seen it. I have not had time to go to the theater. Unfortunately, the last video I made took forever. Uh, let's go back to the MCU for a little bit for Civil War. Now... I rewatched Civil War quite a few times in the last few years. When I say rewatched, I like put it on and then like I go do something and I come back. I don't think it's as bad as I used to say. It's going to go up to okay now. Looking back on it, 
it's better than some of the new MCU movies we've gotten. <laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of parts in it that I like. I think Chadwick Boseman is really good in this movie. And it's weird that he's so, like, he doesn't have much to work with in his own movie. I used to be really harsh on this movie. I agree. I still don't love it. It's not my favorite superhero movie. But, like, it's, it's okay. It's fine. You know? The action scenes are very cool. The action scenes are pretty neat. I think it's too long and I think the pacing's weird. But, you know. Uh, Captain America 1, right? Captain America 1 is pretty mid. That is a movie. That is a movie. I used to like this one a lot. Uh, my feelings on this one have not changed. I used to like it. And then I kind of realized it was whatever. The ending is goaded. I love that ending. It's one of the best endings for a superhero movie. The ending should bump it up. But the rest of the movie... <laughs> there's nothing in that movie. I like the first act. The last act is not great, though. All right, you guys convinced me. You're not going to do that very often, but you convinced me. It's okay. It's not amongst these. These movies I don't like, really. I, I, I'd prefer not to watch them. But this is actually okay. Now, this movie... It's a good movie. Winter Soldier is a pretty good movie. If there was like a middle ground between these two, you know, that's where it would be. I feel the same way about this as I feel about Aquaman, though. You know, I don't like this more than I like Avengers 1, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I think this is where it belongs for me. Good movie. There's nothing wrong with good movie. You know, I love Metal Gear Solid. This is the Metal Gear Solid movie. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's pretty mid. I don't think it's bad. It's a movie. We're going to see a lot of MCU movies sitting in here. We're going to see a lot of MCU projects sitting right here in the mid. <laughs> mid is in the middle of the tier list for a reason. Airplane movie for sure. Airplane movie. Very similar to Black Adam, if we're being honest. Oh, Catwoman's definitely going in delicious garbage. We all know that. I, I think Catwoman's so fucking funny. I, I watch Catwoman. I'll put Catwoman on for like a party. You know, if you ever throw in a party, put Catwoman on in the background. People will turn and look and they'll see something crazy. All right. <laughs> Catwoman is awesome. <laughs> if I had it my way, Catwoman would be in goaded tier. All right. But unfortunately, we have a tier just for her. Cloak and Dagger, I've never seen. Constantine, I've never seen. Is this Daredevil? Oh, yeah. I see like the the evil at the end there. Daredevil. Daredevil's a weird one because I never watched, I never finished Daredevil. But what I like, what I saw was really good. Uh, yeah. Daredevil's really good. Daredevil season one, ooh. When that hit, I was feeling it, you know? I did like it by the time we got to finish it. When I need it, it'll be there. When I need it, it'll be waiting. Oh, also, what the fuck? There's two of these. Why are there two of these? Uh, this delicious garbage. It's pretty. It's on this. It's very similar to Catwoman. These are from like the same era. Catwoman's funnier, but this is also pretty funny. Not as funny, but I think Colin Farrell alone makes this movie hilarious. Ooh, we got a uh, Dark Phoenix. Bad. I don't want to watch this movie ever again. It has no redeemable qualities. It is one of the worst superhero movies I've ever seen. It's pretty bad. Uh, we got Deadpool 1 and 2, it seems like. Deadpool 1 was okay. They're like the same movie. I've already said this, so I'll put them in okay. I like Deadpool 1 a little bit more than Deadpool 2. I think Deadpool 2 is uh, a little too... It's sniffing its farts a little too much for me, you know? It's, uh, it thinks it's funnier than it is. Deadpool 1 had a sincerity to it. I think Deadpool 1's funnier. Than Deadpool 2 and I that's the main factor here I think everything else in 2 is better I think the story is more interesting uh but Deadpool 1 yeah it feels like it had to prove why it exists and it was scrappy and it was a little shitty but that kind of was the charm uh Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness I think Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is okay I think it's fine a lot of people don't like this one I like Sam Raimi and this is a Sam Raimi movie I don't see this. I see this as his own separate little adventure, you know? I think it's pretty okay. 
people pretend people pretend like this movie is shit and it's not a bad movie i don't hate doctor strange one it's in a weird space between okay and mid though i definitely feel the same way about doctor strange one as i do birds of prey that is definitely i definitely have similar feelings there's some stuff in Doctor Strange 1 I really like. I really like how Dormammu's handled in it. I like the final battle. I think it's a creative little movie. I think it's okay. I think I think this one's a little better, obviously. Yeah, I think the action's pretty cool. I, I, I like the characters in it. I, I like Tilda Swinton and Wong is, is a good introduction for Wong, even though he's in, like, everything now. It's fine. Good movie. Electra, I've never seen. Definite, definite uh, worst superhero movies contender here, but I've never seen it. Eternals. Oof. Eternals is pretty bad. This is a tough one. I think Eternals might actually be in dog shit. Dookie bad. Don't like it. It's worse than these. That's for sure. Yeah, it's down here. This might be the worst MCU movie ever made. It might be the worst one. I, I don't think there's anything worth liking about this movie i remember i was sitting with my friends and we were watching it and sometimes me and my friends we disagree you know like when we watched uh thor love and thunder they liked it i didn't like it i was the only one who didn't like it there's some other movies where i've liked them and my friends didn't like them but we we were sitting in eternals and i looked over everybody's frowning everybody's like making like a, a face like someone farted on them they were just miserable now why are there two fantastic fours why are there two Fantastic Fours? Here's my thing about Fantastic Four One, and this is also a movie that is technically in TBD. I plan to make a video for this when um, when the new movie comes out, whenever that is. I don't think it's that bad. The first one is okay, but that's a spoiler, so it's okay. It's actually not that bad. It has some it, it has good elements in it. I've never seen the second one. I've seen clips, and I know a little bit about it, and I don't like what I, I don't like what I've seen. And then Fant Four Stick, I also have not ever seen all the way through. I've never seen it all the way through, but it is also like I'm gonna do the trilogy as one video for sure. Whenever that happens, I like to make my videos when they're relevant, and there, there's never been a time to really hit the Fantastic Four yet. Ghost Rider One is delicious garbage. There's some cool ass stuff at Ghost Rider 1, but then it has that Nicolas Cage wackiness in it. This also is probably going to be a worst superhero movies video at some point, but I can spoil. Everybody knows it's delicious garbage. Uh, I've never seen the second one, so that that goes right there. Uh, I've never seen Green Lantern, also contender for a video one day. It's on the list. Like all the movies that are going to be in a video, like I'll order that. It's like, eh, probably not going to ever watch that. Or I'm not going to make a video on this at, at any point. But I'm not going to watch that. That's going to come out eventually and I'm going to like it. These are from Batman Begins over to Green Lantern. Stuff that I'm going to make a video on one day, probably. <clears throat> Phantasm is a worst contender. I didn't say this is for worst superhero movies. I just said a video. All right. We're doing all of the Batman theatrical releases in one video in the winter. I've said this. I said it in my last winter video. But people still don't understand. I get asked every week, when are you going to do the Dark Knight trilogy? When are you going to do Batman you going to do Batman Mask of the Fantasm? I already said it. I said it a whole year ago. You guys don't listen to me. Anyway, let's just shove these in here now. Batman. Batman. I have some hot takes about the Nolan trilogy. Not really that hot. My takes are pretty normal for the Nolan trilogy. Things I have to say about them are things everybody said about them. Anyway, Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy. So, uh, this is three, right? This is one. No, this is one. This is two. Okay. Yeah, I see Groot. I see big Groot here. So, let's do one. One is really good. One is really good. Two is really good. Three is goaded. I love Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Three is fucking good. Three is really fucking good. I love that movie. I saw it multiple times, and I have not done that for a superhero movie in a couple years. That's not, I don't think that's surprising anybody. 
that it's going up there. Mm. Guardians one's better than three. I could see the argument for it. Uh, I think maybe I can put one in goaded. I think I could put one in goaded. This is, I do think this is one of the best superhero movies. I don't even consider it a superhero movie. It's its one of the best action adventure movies. That is two. God damn it, you're right. These fucking posters are so shit. Can I just say, off uh, re, tangent, these are all shit posters. So, movie posters are so fucking bad now. It doesn't matter, good or bad movie. The posters are bad. They're, they're terrible. Blade, this is a cool poster. Because it's, it's, it's a fucking painting. All right, it looks awesome. Imagine walking past that in a theater. Just this dude's fucking silhouette, red background. However, look at all these MCU movies. They're all the same. It's a bunch of dudes in one half, a bunch of villains in the other half. It's a main character in the middle with everybody else looking off into the distance behind them. It's horrible. It is, it, it is so bad it might be bad enough to get its own video is how much I hate posters. <laughs> They're terrible. They've gotten worse. They're only getting worse. TV shows don't count. See, like, even this Cloak and Dagger poster is better than most of these other fucking posters. But that's a TV show. Doesn't matter. Doesn't count. Batman Mask of the Phantasm, one of the coolest posters ever. Because I have nostalgia for it. <laughs> when I was a kid and I went to Blockbuster, I there was a big-ass poster for this movie. And I looked at it and I'm like, God damn, Batman's cool. The, even this poster. Oh, the first Batman movie? Come on. Just the logo. That goes hard. Just the logo. I wish it didn't even say Batman on it, right? I wish it just had the logo and then like a release date. Because everybody would know what that means, you know? Like, you already know what it is, bitch. It's Batman. <laughs> anyway, Hawkeye. Hawkeye's mid feel anything for it i think we're going into the tv shows a little more now uh this does have tv shows in it i figure i'll throw them in the, 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 we might as well right i don't really have anything i have nothing to say about hawkeye i don't want to talk about hawkeye it is the definition of mid it's not bad it is not good it's just something to watch all right uh howard the duck i've never seen actually i have never seen it Maybe possible worst superhero movies contender. Ang Lee Hulk. I've never finished Ang Lee's Hulk. But from what I saw, it's not bad enough to warrant its own video. It is bad. I don't think it's a very good movie from what I saw. Yeah, the poster is pretty good. That's actually a pretty good poster. But, yeah, it wasn't like dog shit enough for its own video. And it did have some cool stuff in it, actually. I liked the, the editing, like the comic book style editing i thought that was kind of cool in humans i've never seen i never saw this i uh, fucking iron fist i never watched that uh it looked bad and everybody said it was bad so i didn't watch it all right the iron man iron man one two three right iron man one i know was a good movie iron man one's biggest problem is that it came out around the same time as the dark knight <laughs> So at the time when I saw it, I was like, it's not the Dark Knight, though, you know. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 is kind of bad a little bit. Oh, Elon Musk is in it, so. Yeah, we got to put down there, honestly. Sorry. Elon's in the movie, so it's got to go in dog shit dookie bad. I don't make the rules. It's just what you're supposed to do. Iron Man 3 is also a good movie. I won't put it in really good. Even though I really like it, I won't put it in really good. I think it's the best in the trilogy. Yeah, I feel about the same way as this as I do these other movies. That's fair. Jessica Jones. Uh, I don't like Jessica Jones. I think Jessica Jones is bad. That's, there's something about it just didn't, didn't vibe with me. A lot of people are mad about this one, but I'm sorry I just didn't like it. I think it definitely hit me at a bad time, too. The only show out of the Defenders verse that I liked was Daredevil. And Jessica Jones wasn't on that level for me. You know what? Kristen Ritter... I'll go back, actually. Kristen Ritter is really good in this. So I'll put it at mid for that. Just for that alone. I'll put it in mid for that. I, I do think she's really good in it. 
She does carry the show a lot. David Tennant, David Tennant annoys me. All right, I don't want to talk about David Tennant. David Tennant pisses me off. I think he's a fine actor, but he annoys me. I don't like his doctor. Not my doctor. All right. I have my grievances. That's its own video is why I don't like David Tennant's Doctor Who. And this is a hot take. I know this. I know this. I'm aware. But I don't like it. <laughs> I have, just, just, just to explain a little bit. I have a big grievance with how immortality is written in media. I don't think David Tennant plays the 900-year-old alien fucking being well at all. Eccleston is my favorite doctor, first of all. Capaldi is a great doctor, but he has horrible episodes. I think Matt Smith does play the immortal weirdo a lot better than David Tennant. I will say that. First of all, he's hideous, all right? <laughs> he looks fucking weird. He doesn't look like a human. All right. <laughs> that gives him a lot of points. <clears throat> he is just British. Yeah, he looks like your average British, most handsome British person. <laughs> this is going to become a Doctor Who rant. I think David Tennant, out of all of those choices, plays that character the worst. If the Doctor was like 40 years old, it'd be okay. But the fact that he's 900 years old and he he just acts like a regular guy, I hate that. I also hate that he has a relationship with a companion. He should never, ever have a relationship with a companion. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And that's most of his character is liking Rose and being sad about Rose. And that's it. Oh, now, now you guys agree with me. Now you guys fucking agree with me. All right. I don't want to fucking hear it. This is how it always fucking goes. I always say some head-ass take that you guys are like, oh, what the fuck are you saying, Marcus? What the fuck are you saying? And then I explain, and you guys are like, oh, no, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about this anymore. This isn't a Doctor Who video. Now, if I was like a teenage girl watching Doctor Who, I might like him a little more. But I am a man, and I don't like him. Anyway, Justice League. Oh, is this, is there only one, jo oh wait, we didn't, uh, oh yeah, Joker, Joker's okay. I'd have to rewatch it again. I've only seen Joker like twice and it was a, it was like when it came out. I think if I watched it again and I compiled all my thoughts, it might go up to good movie. I think it's like on the cusp here. I think it's on the cusp. Right now my memory of it is okay. You know, I think it's a well-made movie though, but I'd really, it, I'd have to go back and revisit to be fair. Um, anyway, Justice League, this is weird because it's not, there's not two of them, right? Is there a, is there a Zack Snyder's Justice League? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. You're right. You're right. You're correct. Okay. So this Justice League, <laughs> it's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. It's a pretty bad movie. <laughs> it's so bad. It makes me laugh. I've actually never done a video on this. I covered most of it in my Zack Snyder video, though, so I never felt like the need to do Justice League. It's, oh, for me, it's almost that delicious garbage. Me and Dan, we saw this opening morning, and we were fucking cracking up. We were dying laughing. It was so funny. It was so funny. It, it's a delicious garbage. I have to. <laughs> this movie's so fucking funny. <laughs> All right, anyway, Logan is goaded. I think that's pretty obvious. I don't really have to say anything about that, you know? One of the best... These are all, like, contenders for greatest superhero movies ever made, right? Luke Cage. I didn't finish Luke Cage. I didn't watch enough of Luke Cage to give an opinion on it. I didn't like it very much. For the same reasons I wasn't a big fan of Jessica Jones, I like Luke Cage even less. So, but I didn't, I, I, I don't have any memories of it, so I can't really put it in there. Uh, it's Man of Steel. Man of Steel is bad. That movie's not good. Comparatively, it's not one of the worst movies, but it's not, not very good. It's a pretty stupid movie. Doesn't understand Superman. It's written by a man who doesn't like Superman. We've already been over it plenty of times. Moon Knight is mid 
Yeah, I'm gonna put all these little similar ass projects right next to each other. Mid. Jessica Jones is like on its own there. It's like a different kind of mid. Morbius. Morbius. I'm gonna spoil things for you guys a little bit. Morbius is gonna go right here for now. Maybe you guys will hear me talk about Morbius very, very soon. It's definitely around here though. <laughs> but where? Who knows? Miss Marvel is mid. Oh, shit, no. Stop trying to jump out of position. As the thing is, as as the years the year continues, these things that I watched and enjoyed in the moment fade from the mind. I do think Miss Marvel has a great first chunk, but then it just kind of like turns into a whatever show. Peacemaker. I was just thinking about Peacemaker the other day. And I think it kind of grew on me. I think it's okay. I I was like on and off with it when I watched it. As it started, I didn't love it. I thought it was kind of annoying. The James Gunn shtick kind of got on my nerves a little bit. But near the, by the end of the show, I was like, you know what? I, fuck it. I actually kind of like that show. So I'll put it in okay. Theme song. That opening. If there's ever... There's never been a superhero show where I never skipped the opening. The opening carries it quite hard. <laughs> the opening is really good. The intro itself, goaded, for sure. Uh, Punisher Warzone? Never saw it. Uh, definitely a contender for a future video, though. Along with uh, Punisher, the original Punisher movie. I've uh, never seen those. Also, honestly, I didn't I didn't see much of the Punisher show either. So, these can all, all the, pun the Punisher verse can go right here. Uh, Runaways? Never saw it. What the fuck is this? Oh. Yeah, I actually never watched this either. <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. Kind of don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's that's Secret Invasion. For those of you who can't see the poster, um, I haven't felt like making quickies in a while. They they have not been inspiring me lately. I wanted to do stuff I really had a passion for making, and that's why you guys got a Lotus video because I had a lot to say and I had a lot I wanted to to create with that video. And I hope it paid off. You guys seem to have liked it. And that was at the cost of not doing small dumb shit like Secret Invasion. Shang-Chi. I kind of like it. It's gone down a little bit. It used to be a pretty good movie, but it's gone down a little bit. But I like I like Shang-Chi. Cool little movie. Eh, I think it's fine. The th Everybody says the third act is bad. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's great. It loses a lot of steam. But I think the final like battle is with his dad is pretty cool. I like that. It is like a, it's a Tekken movie, yeah. And I like Tekken, so. <laughs> I like Tekken lore. And if you like Tekken lore, <laughs> Shang-Chi is not a bad movie. Uh, Shazam 1 is okay as well. I think Shazam 1 is cute. It's a fine movie. I did not watch Shazam 2. I, no, I'm not going to watch Shazam 2. There's nothing I want to watch less than Shazam 2. I don't care about Shazam 2 at all. I The main thing about Shazam 2 is I saw too many commercials for it. I saw way too many goddamn commercials for that movie. I think that there's a there's a there's a uh, there's a factor that that uh marketing teams don't put into into consideration and it's that you can if you show me the same trailer too many times for a movie I'm like whatever on that movie will go from being whatever in my mind to being annoying. The movie could be fine, and it probably isn't bad, but I don't want to watch it, you know? Uh, Shulk. Uh, I think Shulk was okay. It's near the end of okay. But, like, I, I actually really like She-Hulk. That was a fun, creative little show. All right, Spider-Man trilogy. You know, I actually watched these again. While I was editing the Lotus video, I put on uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2 again. There you go. You happy? Spider-Man 2 can go there. Spider-Man 1? It's a good movie. Spider-Man 2 is one of the best superhero movies. I can't lie. It annoys me, personally. I think people vastly overhype Spider-Man 2. But I cannot 
I cannot discredit the cultural significance of these two movies. These two movies created superhero fans, period. Just really, really good. This is just a good movie. I, I can't think of any actual legitimate flaws in Spider-Man 2. Other than my meme flaws. You can justify everything that happens in the movie by the movie's own logic, you know? Three is delicious garbage. <laughs> Three is so goddamn funny. It is so fucking funny. <laughs> it is... Personally, I think I like it more than the other two. <laughs> I watch three more frequently because I think it's funnier. Spider-Man 3 is fucking hilarious. So many great moments. The fact that Eddie Brock prays to God so that God can kill Spider-Man for him. <laughs> He's that mad. <laughs> That he goes to church, prays to Jesus, and begs him to kill Spider-Man. <laughs> that shit is so fucking funny. That's the kind of stuff you will never see in a superhero movie ever again. <laughs> Very funny. It's so funny. I'm fucking crying. Please kill Peter Parker because he exposed me for photoshopping pictures. Anyway. Whew. Uh, let's do these together, Spider-Verse. You already know. You already know. You know, let's go right here. If these were ordered, this is number one for me. Nobody argue. Argue with the fucking wall. Best superhero movie ever made. Don't care. If you don't agree, go kick rocks. All right? I already said it a million times. Perfect movie. Literally changed the animation landscape. I showed this movie to my mom. My mom doesn't watch any movies, and she loved it. All right? It passes the mom test. Not only is it perfect visually, it story-wise hits all of the beats. Across is really good. I'm going to have to wait to see the full picture. I've said this before. You cannot say this movie's goaded yet because it's not done. All right, I almost want to put it down here, but I'm not going to do that because as it is, it's really good. But I got to wait to see. I got to wait to see. Because they could fumble it. I know you guys don't believe it. I know you guys don't understand this. But everything has the chance of being bad. And while I really, really love this movie, at the end of the day, A, it could just never come out. <laughs> I don't think you guys realize this. But the movie could just never come out. It's already delayed to infinity. No one knows when it's going to come out. And you have to accept that. I accept that. I don't care if it ever comes out. I'll be a little disappointed, but I will move on and I will live my life. That's the thing about loving so many things. <laughs> when one thing disappoints you, you're not going to get upset about it, you know? If the last movie either doesn't stick the landing or never comes out, this movie is significantly worse. But it's probably not going to be bad and it's probably going to come out. So then the movie will be up here where it belongs. But I have to see, you know? It's like the Infinity War and Endgame thing. I remember before Endgame came out, a lot of people said it has to be as good as Infinity War. I remember so many of you said that. And guess what? It's not. <laughs> it's down here and no one disagrees with me. Some people would prefer it to be down here, you know? But until then... I can't, I can't rate the full picture yet. I gotta wait. All right, anyway. Spider-Man Home Trilogy. I think Homecoming. I like Homecoming a lot. I think Homecoming is a really good Spider-Man movie. I think it's as good as Spider-Man 1. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Oh, shit, not there. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> you don't belong up there. Uh, but I think, honestly, it's as good as Spider-Man 1. That's too fuck. God damn it. Stupid bullshit. Good little movie for Spider-Man. Hits to the core of what Spider-Man is. The amount of Iron Man is acceptable. Oh, God, yeah, that cover's horrible, though. Look at that. I didn't even re recognize what it was. That's why I forgot about it. This one is okay. Overhated to hell. People overhate the fuck out of this movie. I think the thing about me in this movie is, like, yeah, I prefer if Spider-Man isn't a addicted to iron man 
I prefer for Peter Parker not to be an Iron Man fanboy. But I don't see any of these Peter Parkers, except for this one, as my Peter Parker. You know? If we're being honest, I think the worst Peter Parker on here is this one. Let's be honest with ourselves. Toby's not the best Peter Parker. He's in a really good story. He has a really good narrative attached to him. But as Peter Parker, he falls so flat. He's the OG, and that's why people like him. But he is not Peter Parker to me. I think, let's let's cover it now. Uh, Andrew, uh, this is mid. And this is one of the worst things I've ever fucking seen. But, Andrew, if you had to ask live action... Peter Parker, I think Andrew Garfield's pretty fucking close to what I envision, you know? I think he he's he's very close to what I picture Peter Parker being. Maybe not when he's like a nerd. When he he's too hot for nerd Peter. But when he's Spider-Man, Spider-Man Peter, he's really good at it. And that shows in uh Far From Home. I think Far From Home is really good. Also, becoming overhated. People are looking back on it and shitting on it, but I think it's it's just a fun experience. It's the same as, like, Endgame for me. That's No Way Home. That's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. That's not my fault, all right? <laughs> That's not my fault. That's not my fault. The names are shit, okay? Also, I'm talking to you guys. I'm, I can't... Like, this is obviously the Far From Home poster, but in my brain, I see fucking, I see Iron Boy face, and I think, okay, that's the first one, which be which Spider-Man in it, and I just throw it there, you know? I need to look at my, my vision. I need to go to the eye doctor. Anyway, this movie's fun. Has all the Spider-Man in it. We all like it. And the posters are horrible. Yes, we all, we can all agree on that. My thing is, I, I look at tom holland and i don't think of oh that's my definitive peter parker it's just another it's another version of peter parker that i can enjoy he's got things about him that i wish they did differently he has things about him that he does better than any of the other ones just like andrew garfield he has a lot of things that i wish they did a little differently and a lot of things that he does better than any of the other guys the thing is i think tom holland is a great live action young peter parker he's great but he's put in a story that doesn't allow him to be Spider-Man as much. And that's what people don't like. I think as a movie, like as a standalone film, I think Homecoming is better than all three. But God, this movie is just too fucking fun. This is a, it's a hell of a lot of fun. It's something you'll, it, it is an, it was an event. Uh, Suicide Squad 1. Let's do these together, right? Or Suicide Squad 2. Anyway, Suicide Squad 1 is horrible. Worst superhero movie I've ever seen. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. Uh, gutted to shit by in the editing bay. Indecipherable. Impossible to follow. Bafflingly horrible. Terrible. Just terrible. Suicide Squad 2. It's one of my favorites. I fucking love this movie. I love this movie it's so good anybody who disagrees is weird sorry if you disagree you're a little weird you're weird for that this is legitimately a great fucking superhero movie it is strange how fucking good it is it's one of my favorites if i i will i'll tear these later but this is one of the favorites for me i love suicide squad 2 the batman spoilers it's up there too. I don't want to get into the Batman too much because I'm going to be talking about it a lot in the winter, but it obviously goes up there. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, Defenders. I never, I never watched Defenders. Flash. Flash is overhated. I think a lot of people hate the Flash who haven't watched it, which is really weird. And I know you motherfuckers didn't watch it because the numbers are there. All right. People talk about this movie like they saw it. <laughs> it's really odd. <laughs> like, you can hate it if you've seen it, but a lot of people haven't. And I got the data to prove it. Um, it's okay. I really don't think it was that bad. I don't think it's mid. I thought it was fine. I, I didn't hate watching it. And I hate these fucking movies. <laughs>
I do not like the DC universe in these in, in in the cinematic the DC cinematic universe. I thought it was okay. Like I sat there in the theater and I just like I was like, oh, this is fun. I'm liking it. I liked I liked it more than I thought I would. I thought it was gonna be horrible. I thought it wasn't even gonna come out. Uh, Edward Norton Hulk belongs in mid. There's I have no thoughts about Edward Norton Hulk. Let's be real. Not really bad though. Definitely not bad. It's like just normal. Uh, Lego Batman. Lego Batman's really good. Lego Batman's really good. I'll, I'll have more to say about Lego Batman later. What the fuck is this? The Marvels isn't even out yet. Why is this here? Got to get ahead of the game, I guess, you know? Got to keep your tier list fresh. <laughs> uh, New Mutants is one of the worst things I've ever seen. New Mutants is definitely up here with the worst superhero movies I've ever watched. It's barely a movie. It's one of those movies that was just made to fail, unfortunately. The Wolverine is okay. The Wolverine's very similar to The Flash for me. It's like an okay movie until like something happens where you're like, uh, that's, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> And they're about at the same point in each movie. For a little while, you, you might be like, oh, I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of into this. And then it's going to hit a point where you're like, Ew. what's my favorite superhero movie scene of all time? It's from one of these. Uh, one of them is from this movie. What's Up Danger might be might be the number one, really. I'll say something right now. Bat the Batman has one of them. Honestly, the ending of Captain America 1 is up there. The, the cap, cap lifting Thor's hammer, it, nothing quite will ever match that moment in a theater. It doesn't matter how you feel about the scene itself. If you were in the theater opening day when that happened, I felt the earth shake. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everybody in the theater was pogging. Everybody lost their goddamn mind. Even if you didn't give a fuck, you were, you were jumping off the fucking walls. You were just naked, threw your fucking clothes off, ran into the street, jumped out the window. That's definitely up there. That, what's up, danger? Un, un, undisclosed scene from the Batman. Train sequence in Spider-Man 2, basically the whole fight leading up to him being uh, fucking body surfing. That's up there too, for sure. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. The, uh, the hallway fight scene in Guardians 3 is probably one of the best fight scenes on this list. Daredevil Season 1, the hallway fight scene, it's really good. He throws a fucking microwave at a guy. And all the, all the seasons have one, but the first one... The first one was where I was like, oh, wait. You know, that's the point where, like, you were, you were watching Daredevil and you're like, this is actually a pretty good show. When that fight scene hits, you're like, oh... Fuck. <laughs> this show is good. Anyway, those are those are some of my favorite scenes. Oh, and uh, Iron Man 3, when he saves those people with his suit, it's close to being up there, but the fact that he's not in the suit bumps it down. Uh, anyway, uh, Thor Love and Thunder is bad. It's bad. I don't like it. Not good. Ragnarok. Ragnarok might be goaded. I think Ragnarok's really good. I don't think it hits goaded for me. For me, it's right between them. It's on the cusp. Okay? It's right on the edge. Yeah, I think Kate Blanchett's just a really weak villain in general. I think, like, her whole story is kind of... Meh. I forgot those are just two of the four Thor movies. My god. Uh, this is Thor 2. I, again, I almost said this was Thor 1. These, look at these fucking posters. Are you kidding me? Look at these. They're terrible. And I understand that we're looking at them in an the, unintended format. In a square. It's like this big. But still, there's no iconic quality to this poster. The X-Men poster is, is more iconic. God, is this X-Men 1? I mean, crap, man. No, this is X-Men 1. God damn it! <laughs> uh, Thor 2, which is this one, is bad. It's like the first bad one, in my opinion. It's like the first stinker that they made. No, it's not that bad. It's like here. It's not like... It's definitely not like... when Everything down here... Everything down here, for the most part, is like... 
just bad movie. Not just superhero movie. Because some of these movies, like, you know, really good. Some of these, like, if you put them against, like, actual great films and shows, they're not going to hold up. But as superhero movies, they're good. Up here, I think we're entering, we definitely are in good movie territory, for sure. Down here, though, bad movie territory. Uh, Venom 1 and 2. This one's Venom 2. This one's Venom 1. Venom 1 is delicious garbage. And Venom 2 is delicious garbage. Venom 2 is also a contender for a video. I guess we have Watchmen on here. Uh, I don't like that Watchmen is considered a DC property. Especially with how DC likes to include it in events and whatnot. I don't agree with that. I don't think Dr. Manhattan needs to be hanging out with the Justice League. Uh, the movie's okay, though. So not that bad. I, I flip-flop on this movie a lot. Sometimes, I don't like it. Oh, sometimes I think it's whatever. And sometimes I think it's okay. And right now, I think it's okay. Uh, Werewolf by Night. I forgot this came out. I really like this. It's kind of a weird, like, thing, though. You know? It's kind of a weird inclusion. It's like, it's just like an OVA, you know? It's good. Oh, Loki isn't on here. That's weird. WandaVision's not on here. Falcon and Winter Soldier's not on here. But he's got Hawkeye and Moon Knight and Miss Marvel. Uh, I don't want to add him. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> uh, Loki would be up here. I love Loki. I think it's the best show they made. Uh, WandaVision's in a good movie. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier's in bad. That's eh, in mid. It's not that bad. It's in mid. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh, What If is in... Yeah, what If's weird. Some of them are really good and some of them are really not. It's an okay. Overall, I think it was okay. I really like Loki. I I'm a Loki lover. I love that show. And I don't love Loki, the character, that much, you know? Um, Loki's better than Daredevil? That's actually a pretty good point. Loki would probably be in really good, actually. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Loki's in pretty in, in really good. Um, I didn't finish... I didn't watch this. It was the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, right? I didn't watch this. I thought this was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem poster. Which I, I like that movie. That was a good movie. I didn't do a quickie on it or anything, but... I like that turtle movie they just came out with. Uh, anyway, Wonder Woman 1. I think Wonder Woman 1's pretty good. Definitely around Aquaman. Yeah, definitely around Aquaman for sure. Again, these aren't really t ordered. Don't think of it that way. They're not ordered. I'll order the top dogs when, we're, when we get to the end. But Wonder Woman 1 is pretty fucking good. I think it's really good. It has some big dumb stuff, but like, I think all these movies have something dumb in them. Wonder Woman 2 is horrible. Definitely a contender for a worst superhero movies video for along the way one day. It is so bad. It gets worse the more you think about it. I think I said this before, but, and I'm going to say it again if I ever make a video, but back when executives were saying, Ugh, what would they make a Wonder Woman movie about? Like, how can we make a Wonder Woman movie? What the fuck is she going to do? This is the movie they were thinking about when they said that. <laughs> this is why they thought that for so long. Because this is what you make Wonder Woman do when you're not creative enough. Anyway, all the X-Men. Let's, let's get to the X-Men in a minute. Let me do the Superman Power Hour real quick. Uh, here's the thing. I've only really seen the first one, <laughs> and I was a kid. I have not seen this movie recently, so I'm going to put it in TBD because, honestly, all of these, and especially Supergirl, because Supergirl, I think, is hilarious. I have seen Supergirl, and it's really bad. Um, these are definitely a full video right there packaged for you, you know? Could definitely do Superman. Superman could be next winner. I kind of want to do Superman... Whenever, um, whenever the James Gunn Superman starts to come out, I'll drop a Superman special around that time, for sure. But for now, they'll go in TBD. Definitely great content. This is a lot of movie. 
you know? So yeah, it's going to be a while, but a lot of things take a while, you know? I was going to do all the Batman movies, but I had to wait till the Batman came out, right? I'm, I, I'm going to be a YouTuber for a while. I got to plan ahead. A lot of videos I make, I plan ahead. <clears throat> what if I die tomorrow? Then you guys don't get the video. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> well, you want me to make it anyway? If I die, you don't get the video. You better hope I don't. Anyway, um, X-Men. So we've got X-Men 1, which is right here. I'm going to order them now for the san for my own sanity. I'm going to put them in the right order. First class is this one. Days of Future Past. Oh, Origins goes between these. Uh, X-Men 1 is okay. X-Men 1's weird because it kind of like started all of this. Like everything on here for the most part is because of X-Men 1. It is the progenitor. This and Spider-Man 1 like... They're kind of hand in hand is the reason we have these. Blade, I wouldn't say Blade started it, you know? It's not Blade. Blade's fun, but nobody saw it as a superhero movie, to be honest. It was a cool action movie. Most people didn't even know it was a Marvel movie, you know? But X-Men, this is a superhero movie. Spider-Man is the superhero movie that got people excited for superheroes. X-Men 2 is pretty good. I think it's a little bit better than this, but I think it is still just okay. Well, actually, I'm looking at it now. I like it. I like it about the same as I like these. Yeah. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah, I'll put in good movie. Yeah, I had to think about it for a second. But yeah, it belongs there. X-Men 3, just horrible. <laughs> Honestly, though, nah, it's not good enough for delicious garbage. It's not that funny. It's pretty boring. It's 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 not good. Bad movie. Now, X-Men Origins Wolverine. That's delicious garbage. Oh, that movie's so funny. So fucking funny. Uh, we've already talked about that one. That's a good one. That's a good comedy film right there. Uh, First Class. I really like First Class. This might be my personal favorite X-Men movie. I don't think we have anything to argue about here. It's it's good. It's it's really good. Uh, Days of Future Past is a good movie. Um, it's not at the level of first class for me. It's still good, though. I think it, its pacing's a little off. I think Days of Future Past has some really good stuff, but I don't think it's... I, I, like, I like this more. This, like, hits the good X-Men beats that I want. Honestly, I might have to just watch this again. Um, I didn't watch the full Rogue cut. I know that fixes it. Um, so I'll have to do that. But it, so it might go up if I do that and I like it. I heard the road cut was a lot better. And this one is also delicious garbage. X-Men Apocalypse is really funny. This movie is really funny. Um, obviously that goes there. So yeah, anyway, that's the list. Um, hope you guys like it. I have half a mind to leave it there. <laughs> uh, but honestly, I think it's a good movie. <laughs> My feelings on Zack Snyder's Justice League are very personal. <laughs> I have seen Batman v Superman and Justice League so many times because of my job and Ban of Steel. You know, I've seen all those movies so many times because I've made so many videos talking about them. And when this came out, it felt like he looked me in the eye and he said, hey, fuck you. All the things you've complained about for years, I'm going to change them. And I liked it. <laughs> Honestly, you guys asked me what my favorite superhero scenes are. When the Flash fucking goes back in time to save the movie, that's up there. And that's for a Zack Snyder movie. And it has one of my favorite superhero scenes ever. I remember when I was watching, I watched that movie with my friend. And we sat there and we were like, holy fuck, that was cool. Genuinely don't get how people like it. I don't think it's that good. But I like it, okay? <laughs> I like it. Because all the things that I said were stupid in the other movies, he fixed them.
He did it for me. He made this movie for me, so I have to like it. He made it for me. It's my birthday, and I get to pick where it goes on the list. All right? But yeah, that's the list. I, there's a lot that I haven't seen, to be honest. And a lot of this I'm never going to watch. Before we go, let's tear these up a little bit. Let's rank these. So, I said I'm not going to rank these in order from best to worst, but I will do it for the top the top dogs, right? I think Logan's at the end for me. Spider-Man's a little above it. This is up here. This is a really personal one. Yeah, I think it's like this. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah. Yeah. Seems good. Spider-Verse, best superhero movie. Avengers Infinity War, best MCU movie. Best Batman movie. Honestly, probably the best DC movie that we're going to get for a while. I have so much to say about this movie. You guys have no idea. So I, I thought that I wouldn't have enough to say about it because I just I did do, I did a quickie on it. But this is a, a fucking movie, and I love Suicide Squad too. This is it, it makes my heart feel so good. This trilogy oh, here, man. this is like the gun power hour of just God damn it, I love being alive. <laughs> and then the classics. Well, the classic. Spider-Man 2 is the classic. This is the movie that made all of that, that really showed people that superhero movies could be fucking baller. And then Logan's barely a superhero movie, honestly. It doesn't really belong on here. This is just a sad drama with some science fiction elements in it. You know, Logan's better than Spider-Man 2. I like Spider-Man 2 more. I do. I think it's a better movie. But I like this one more. But yeah. That's all I have to say about these. I'm probably going to go eat some dinner now. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being my friend. Fun little, fun little stream. Nice, chill stream time. Bye-bye.